everybody, welcome back to the CNG Sports Kingdom, and today we have NHL Imperialism. The rules are simple. We will spin a wheel of all 32 NHL teams, and then we will spin an arrow to see which direction they will be heading. For example, if the wheel lands on the Seattle Kraken, if the arrow points south, they will be taking Oregon as their territory, but if the arrow points north, they will be playing the Vancouver Canucks in Vancouver. The winning team will steal a player. We will also have power-ups. The first power-up is Thief, where a team steals one player from a random team spun on the wheel. Next is Veteran, where a team will receive one of the top 10 alumni players in the game. The next power-up is Extra Life, where a team will gain an extra life, but still lose a player. Next is X-Factor, where the team will assign a player without an X-Factor with an X-Factor. And the last power-up is Dual Thief, where a team will receive two players upon winning the game. And there is one consequence, though. Budget cuts, where a team will lose one of the top three players to a random team spun on the wheel. With all these power-ups, let's see where they'll be located by spinning the wheel of all the unoccupied states. Okay, Thief will be the power-up located in... This will be... Kentucky. Okay. Okay, next power-up is Veteran. Let's see which state will hold this power-up. And this state will be Oklahoma. Okay. All right, next power-up is Extra Life. And the state or province will be Maryland. Okay. The X-Factor power-up will be located in Delaware. Okay, two left. Dual Thief. Which state will this be located in? It will be Idaho. And budget cuts. The only consequence in this imperialism will be located in Iowa. Alright, so this is what the map looks like before we start imperialism. Also, this is our first gaming video on the channel. So if you want to see more gaming videos, Please leave a like and subscribe. Let's dive in in three, two, one. Okay, for the first spin of NHL Imperialism, the team will be the Edmonton Oilers. Okay. And the Oilers will be heading southeast. The Oilers will be invading the Calgary Flames territory. And this is the Battle of Alberta. Less than a minute left to go. Rasmus Anderson. He'll find Jonathan Huberto. He'll find Sato Foley. Now Kadri for Lindholm. Enters his own. Cody Cece there. Here's Huberto. And a shot was blocked. McDavid needs to win this face off in order to get a quick shot off. McDavid versus Backlund. It's won by Backlund. But the puck's loose. Mangiapani will take it away. Three seconds. Two seconds. And... We are headed to overtime here in the Battle of Alberta. Okay, three on three overtime. It's 1-1, one, one, five minutes. McDeod versus Lindholm on the draw. And it's won by the Oilers. Dry saddle. He'll enter the zone. But Uyghur, who scored a goal for Calgary, will take it away. Uyghur and Dry saddle both have the goals. Here's a two-on-one. Lindholm. And Skinner with a huge save. Now and Dry I'm saddle with a puck on a counterattack. One-on-one. He'll make a move. Take him right, David. And John Huberto now takes the puck away. Huberto's on a breakaway with a chance to win. Huberto, he, he scores! scores! And the Calgary Flames will win the Battle of Alberta at home. And they will be taking Connor McDavid. And Connor McDavid is now a member of the Calgary Flames. And the Calgary Flames will take all of Alberta. All right, 31 teams remaining. The next team will be... The New York Rangers. Okay. Already a stacked team. And the Rangers will be heading directly east. And the Rangers will take Vermont. Okay, so after our first expansion, the next team on the wheel will be the Senators. Okay. Who now have Jacob Chikrin. And the Senators will be heading southeast. And the Senators... 
will play the Buffalo Sabres. Eight seconds left. A time for one more rush. Yokoharu will take the puck away for Gergensons. And now Olafson, one second left. And that will do it. We are heading to overtime once again. Starting over time here. Thompson versus Stutzla. And it's won by Tage Thompson. Now Olafson. And he gets hit hard. There's Darlene. He'll find Dylan Cousins. He gets around one defender. Cousins. A one-on-one. -on -one. He'll find Jack Quinn. Quinn a shot. Rebound goes in the corner. Cousins. Finds Owen Power. His shot. They score. And the Sabres will win in overtime. Owen Power is the hero. And the Sabres will take a lot of Ontario and steal one player from the Senators. And the Buffalo Sabres will add Brady Kachuk to their roster. And we will say goodbye to the Ottawa Senators as they are erased from the map. All right, next spin on the wheel. 30 teams left. And the next team will be... It will be the Nashville Predators. Okay. And the Predators will be heading southeast. And the Predators will just barely graze the tip of Alabama. All right, next team on the wheel, we will have the the Los Angeles Kings. All right. Let's see what the Kings will be going. All right. The Kings will be headed to their east. That's Vegas. And that's a matchup between the Vegas Golden Knights. Under a minute left, and the L.A. Kings have been controlling this whole entire game. Vegas really hasn't had anything going for them. Vegas trying to have one more push. There's a shot by Haig. Corpus Allo, another save. He'll find Walker. Five, four, three, two, one. And the LA Kings will defeat the Vegas Golden Knights. Three, nothing. And Shea Theodore is now a member of the Los Angeles Kings. And this is the last time we'll see the Vegas Golden Knights logo in Imperialism. All right, next team on the wheel will be the... Is that Tampa Bay? Tampa it will be Bay Tampa Lightning. Bay. All right. That will. So the Lightning will just claim Georgia for now. All right. Next team on the wheel will be. So the Lightning just took over Georgia. And we will have the Vancouver Canucks. And I think they're forced to play a game. And the Canucks will be headed. And the Canucks will just graze the tip of Montana. And will add to their territory. So two expansions in a row. Will we see a game here? The next team on the wheel will be the Carolina Hurricanes. Okay. One short of the Flames. And the Hurricanes will be headed southwest. Oh, that's South Carolina. For a second, I thought they were going to play Tampa Bay. All right, next team on the wheel. We've got three expansions in a row. Will we see a game here? We will have the Washington Capitals. Okay. The Capitals have not picked. I'm pretty sure they're forced to play. Right? I don't know. And, and they, they will be headed. headed. They'll be headed west. to their west. Four. And the Capitals will be claiming West Virginia. That is four expansions in a row. So will we see an expansion here or a game? Let's find out. The next team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Mm -hmm. And the Penguins will be headed west. And that is a matchup against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So Penguins invading Columbus. So the Columbus Blue Jackets scored four goals in the third period to make it 4-1. They had no opportunities in the first two periods, but somehow they have come back, and they are about to win this game and take Sidney Crosby. I mean, who would have thought the underdogs in this competition, and they're 30 seconds away from coming out on top. And that will do it. The Blue Jackets will take part of Pennsylvania and steal Sidney Crosby. And Sidney Crosby is now going to be wearing Columbus Blue Jackets uniform. And Columbus Blue Jackets will take over part of Pennsylvania and erase the Pacer Penguins from the map. All right, next spin on the wheel. 28 teams remaining. Penguins just eliminated by the Blue Jackets. And we will have the Chicago Blackhawks. Okay. And the Blackhawks will be heading southwest. And that will give them a matchup against the St. Louis Blues. 
It's been a pretty close game so far. It's a 1-1 game. Here's Jordan Kyer with opportunity. And they score! He put it in the net. Jared Tenorti accidentally put the puck into the net. And the Blues are up 2-1. What a mistake there for Jared Tenorti. And just like that, with 58 seconds left, the Blues could win this game off a mistake like that. Jordan Kyer will get credit for the goal. Wow, what a turn of events. And... That will do it here as the St. Louis Blues will come out on top at home and defeat the Chicago Blackhawks and take all of Illinois. And the Blues will be adding Seth Jones from the Chicago Blackhawks. And we will now say goodbye to the Chicago Blackhawks. They brought up a fight, but the Blues were just better. All right, 27 teams left. The Blackhawks are limited. And the next team on the wheel will be... The Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, almost the St. Louis Blues. And Toronto will be headed east. And that's going to put them in a matchup against the Montreal Canadiens. Surprisingly, Montreal's been keeping it close. It was a 1-0 game for the Maple Leafs. They scored on their first shot. But the Canadiens have come back, and they've been playing some really good hockey here. 28 seconds left. We'll see if this game can go to overtime. 1-1 hockey game here in Montreal, overtime. In imperialism so far, there's not been a game that's gone to shootout. There have been two overtimes, so we'll see if there's a shootout or if the game will be decided in five minutes. Here's Mitch Marner tries to enter the zone. He gets cut off. Here's Lilligren at the point, and Jordan Harris is on a breakaway. This could end it here. Harris on a breakaway. Off the crossbar. What an opportunity there for the Canadians to win it and upset the Maple Leafs. But maybe we're still alive. And then Suzuki with a big play. And now Marner trying to get the puck. And this will go into the corner. Here's Harris. He finds Mike Hoffman. He might have a chance to win it. And Matthews with a defensive play. But Hoffman stays with it. And they score! Mike Hoffman with the overtime winner. And the Canadians upset the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. I cannot believe it. The Toronto Maple Leafs. One of the best teams in the NHL, upset by the Canadians. And that's just sometimes how imperialism goes. And Austin Matthews is now a member of the Montreal Canadiens. And we're going to now say goodbye to the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is probably the biggest upset of the video so far. They brought a good fight, but the Montreal Canadiens will be the ones that will be expanding territory. All right, the Toronto Maple Leafs are off the wheel. 26 teams remain. Let's see what the next team will be. And we're going to have Montreal once again. So they just beat Toronto. And they will be headed. That could probably go somewhere. That hits the Rangers. Montreal is going to be headed to New York. They'll find Panarin. All right, Panarin for Trocek. One minute left. Score Rangers. Here's Patrick Kane. Out with the stop. Trocek. And the Rangers score with 56 seconds left. They are cutting it close here. But the Rangers able to score a goal. It's been a really Montreal-sided game. But Vincent Trocek ties it at one. And this could have been a huge upset. It still could. But the Rangers do score a goal to release some of the pressure. Oh, and now Zabanajad with five seconds. And he'll get pinned to the corner. Here's Kreider. A chance to win. No owl with a stop. And we will be headed to overtime in Madison Square Garden. This is the Canadiens' second game. And it's their second overtime. Mike Hoffman was the hero in the last game. Can he do it again? We'll find out. One minute left in overtime. Panarin with the puck. He has some time. Here's the bandage head between the legs. An owl with a big save. Based on one by Suzuki. Here's Harris. Across for Hoffman. Stopped by Shesterkin again. Harris with a chance to win. And he missed. Shesterkin with another big save. He made huge stops. Patrick Kane with three seconds left. And that will do it. We are headed to a shootout here in Madison Square Garden. So it all comes down to this. A shootout in Madison Square Garden. Nick Suzuki is up first. For the Canadians. He walks in. He makes a move, and he scores. Artemi Panarin is up for the Rangers. He walks in. Panarin, big shot. And Al with the stop. 
Don't know exactly what that shot was. Here's Josh Anderson now. Can he extend the lead? Anderson. And what a save by Shesterkin. A big stop. Now the Rangers need to score. Here's Mika Zabanajet. He walks in. Zabanajet. And stopped by Allen. If the Canadians score here, it's over. And they are going to be claiming the Rangers' territory. Here's Harvey Pennard. Give him a stick. And she's stricken with a stop. And now it's all up to the Rangers. Lafreniere. If he scores, we move on. But if he misses, it's over. He walks in. And he scores. What a clutch goal there for Alexi Lafreniere. The Rangers are not done yet. Here's Dvorak. He'll walk in. And she struck him, makes a save. And now, Capo Caco with a chance to win it. He walks down the right side. Backhand! They score! And the Rangers are going to win this in a shootout. What a turn of events here as they will defeat the Montreal Canadiens. They will take a lot of territory. Well, Austin Matthews is now a member of the New York Rangers. He will be on the line with Panarin. And Patrick Kane. And we will now say goodbye to the Montreal Canadiens. They had a good run, but it sadly came to an end. A crazy game. But the Rangers will be taking over. Alright, 25 teams remaining. Let's see who the next team will be. And we will have... The Seattle Kraken. Okay. Their first turn. And the Kraken will be headed... North, east. And that's going to put him in a matchup against the Vancouver Canucks. Well, the Kraken have been controlling this whole game. The Canucks just scored a shorthanded goal. We'll see if they can get one more here before the period winds down. But they have not been playing well at all in this game. And there's the empty netter. And that should do it here as Weinberg will seal the deal here in Vancouver. And Elias Pedersen will now join the Seattle Kraken as their top centerman. And now the Seattle Kraken will take control as we say goodbye to the Canucks. All right, with the Canucks moving off the wheel, we have 24 teams remaining. The next team will be, is that Capitals or Ducks? That will be the Anaheim Ducks. And they will be headed east. And that will be a matchup against the Arizona Coyotes. It's been a close game. To this point, the Coyotes are up 3-2 against the Ducks. We'll see if they can come back and tie this game up. And Vamalco will make another huge save there on Bouillou. As the Ducks have 53 seconds. Here's McTavish. Last shot of the game. Missed the net. And the Coyotes will win this game as they win at home. And they will defeat the Anaheim Ducks. And the Coyotes has just gotten a little better with the addition of Trevor Zegers. And this is the last time we will see the Ducks on this map. It's the Coyotes will take their land and Trevor Zebras. All right, 23 teams remaining. The Ducks are just removed from the wheel. And the next team will be the New York Islanders. This will be their first turn in Imperialism. And the Islanders will be headed southeast. And the Islanders will just graze the tip of Connecticut and will expand. All right, so next team on the wheel, we will have the Columbus Blue Jackets. Okay, who now have Sidney Crosby. And the Blue Jackets will be headed southeast. And now put them in a matchup against the Washington Capitals. Under a minute to play, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Both teams have had numerous chances, but the goalies have been perfect thus far. And we'll see if any team can get a goal here before regulation or if we will head to an overtime. And we are headed to overtime here. Johnson versus Kuznetsov on the draw. Won by Kuznetsov. Here's Mikkelrath. He lost the puck. Here's Johnny Gaudreau. A chance to win. And a stop by Kemper. Ten seconds left. Here's Ken Johnson. Johnson can't get anywhere. Kuznetsov. Ovechkin with five seconds left. Can he get one more shot off? He cannot. And we are going to be headed to the second shootout in Imperialism. Camper and Merzlikens both been playing well. Here's Johnny Gaudreau. He'll start the shootout. Here he comes. On Kemper. 
and a backhand was stopped by Darcy Kemper. Alexander Ovechkin will be the first shooter for the Capitals. He walks in. Ovechkin. And Merzlikens with the glove save. Up next is Marchenko. He walks in. And a glove save by Kemper. And it stayed out somehow. And now Evgeny Kuznetsov. He's been really good in the shootouts this year. We'll see if he can do it again. Kuznetsov. A one-hand tuck and a stop by Merzlikens. Third shooter. It's Patrick Laine for the Blue Jackets. Laine walks in. A fake, a backhand, and Kemper with a stop. And now, if Dylan Strong can score, he can win it here. He walks in down the right side. And Elvis Merzlikens with another huge save. Ken Johnson now for the Blue Jackets. Can he be the one to score? Johnson, and Kemper denies him. Now Tom Wilson for the Capitals. Can he win it here? Tom Wilson walks in, and he scores! Five hole, that will do it! The Capitals will defeat the Columbus Blue Jackets and take all of their land. And the Washington Capitals are going to be a pretty tough team to beat as they have Crosby and Ovechkin on the same line. We'll see how far they go. And we now say goodbye to the Columbus Blue Jackets. They had an amazing run, but they just could not defeat the Washington Capitals or the Capitals. We'll take a big portion of the former Blue Jackets land. All right, 22 teams remaining. The next team on the wheel will be the New York Islanders. Okay. And the Islanders will be headed southwest, which will go right into Philadelphia's territory. So, the Islanders. We'll face off against the Philadelphia Flyers. Final 20 seconds here. The Islanders are up 2-0. Ely Sorkin's been making some colossal saves tonight. Flyers are going to have one more opportunity. There's a great save by Sorokin. And the New York Islanders will want to win this game. There weren't that many options, but Travis Konechny will be joining the New York Islanders. And we'll see if they can make a long run here in Imperialism. And the Islanders will be adding a little more land to their empire. All right, our next team on the wheel will be the St. Louis Blues, who already beat the Chicago Blackhawks, and they will be headed west. So the Blues will claim Kansas and will expand on this turn. All right, next team on the wheel. We have 21 teams remaining. The next team will be the Los Angeles Kings, who've already beaten the Vegas Golden Knights. And the Kings will be headed. And that arrow is pointing toward San Jose's territory, so the Kings will be headed to San Jose to take on the Sharks. The Kings' net is empty. 33 seconds remaining. Benning for Zetterland. Can he get a shot on that? No, he can. Mike Anderson breaks it up. 0.5 seconds on the clock. Can he get one last shot? They will not. And the San Jose Sharks with the upset over the Kings. Wow. I did not see that coming. Well, Anze Kopitar will now be a member of the San Jose Sharks. And the Kings will be erased from the Imperialism map as the San Jose Sharks pull off a huge upset. All right, we are down to our final 20 teams in Imperialism. Our next team will be the Arizona Coyotes, who already have Trevor Zegers from Anaheim. And the Coyotes will be headed northwest. And that arrow is touching Nevada, so the Coyotes will be headed to San Jose to take on the Sharks. The net is empty for Arizona. And there's a shot. I think that went off the post. And now Benny will take it the other way. Can he get the empty net? We'll see. Here's Zetterland for the empty net. And he scores. And that will do it. The San Jose Sharks with another shutout for James Reimer. As they will win 2 nothing against the Coyotes. And they will continue their epic run here in Imperialism. And Clayton Keller will be joining the San Jose Sharks. And the Arizona Coyotes will be erased 
from the map. Alright, we are down to our final 18 teams in Imperialism. Our next team will be the Minnesota Wild. So this will be their first attempt. And the Wild will be headed to their southeast. And the Wild will be claiming Wisconsin and expand their territory. Alright, next team on the wheel. So the Wild, now Wisconsin. Let's see our next team will be. We will have the Dallas Stars. Okay. And the Stars will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow is pointed toward Oklahoma. So the Stars will be claiming the veteran power up. So we will spin a wheel. All right. So the top 10 alumni players in the game are Wayne Gretzky, Patrick Waugh, Mary Lemieux, Gordy Howe, Marty Brodeur, Maurice Richard, Nicholas Rich Goodstrom, Gene Bellevue, Yermer Yager, and Mark Messier. So, the Dallas Stars will be claiming Yermer Yager. And Yermer Yager will be on the line with Rupe Hintz and Jason Robertson. 94 overall. That's a huge acquisition for the Dallas Stars. All right, well, the veteran power has been activated. Our next team will be the Winnipeg Jets. Okay. And the Jets will be headed to their west. And it's kind of pointing south. And that arrow is pointing towards Saskatchewan. So the Winnipeg Jets will be claiming Saskatchewan. All right. Next team on the wheel. We haven't had a game in a while. We'll see if we have one here. And our next team will be, is it Washington or Minnesota? It will be the Washington Capitals. And the Capitals will be headed to their southeast. And that is a matchup against the Carolina Hurricanes. So the Capitals will be headed to Rally to take on the Hurricanes. Well, I'm surprised that this was not a close game. The Hurricanes have just been dominating the whole 60 minutes. And that's the reason why they're up 5-1. And the Capitals really just never had a chance in this one. Five seconds remaining. Because now it's off for Smith. He'll find Mantha. And that will do it. The Carolina Hurricanes will win 5-1 to one against the Capitals on home ice. And they will move on. Well, the Carolina Hurricanes will add Sidney Crosby to their lineup. He'll be on the first line. And Ajo on the second line. This Hurricanes team is looking pretty good. And the Hurricanes will be taking over the Capitals' land. All right. So the Capitals are eliminated from Imperialism. So we are left with 17 teams left to go. And our next team will be the St. Louis Blues. And the Blues will be headed to the Southwest. And from the center of the logo, the arrow does go through Arkansas before it hits Oklahoma. So... The St. Louis Blues will add Arkansas to their empire. Alright, next team here on the wheel in Imperialism will be the Minnesota Wild. Okay, they have not played a game yet. And the Wild will be headed north. And that is going to put the Wild in a matchup against the New York Rangers. So the Wild will be headed to Madison Square Garden to take on the Rangers. About 30 seconds remaining in the third period. Here's Nyquist with the puck for the Minnesota Wild. Trade down an acquisition. Here's Spurgeon the shot. Just Stirk in with a great save. About five seconds remaining here. Here's Freddie Goudreau with the puck. Finds Hartman. Nyquist, maybe one last shot. The puck does go in, but it is after... The horn sounded, so we are headed to overtime in Madison Square Garden. Savannah Jad and Eric Sinek here on the faceoff. Five minute overtime. Starts now. Here's Joel Eric Sinek. Broken up by Mika Savannah Jad. Savannah Jad and Tarasenko. Here's Vlada Tarasenko for, Ter for Fox and is stopped by Savannah Jad. Stopped there by Gustafson. Here's Kaprizov. Hit there by Savannah Jad. Stays with it. Here's Eric Sinek for Spurgeon. And the wild score. Joel Eric Sinek. Wins it for Minnesota and the Wild with a huge win over the Rangers. And they are moving on. And Austin Matthews is now a member of the Minnesota Wild. Starting to see a lot of green on this map. 
So we say goodbye to the New York Rangers and Minnesota Wild now have the largest territory in imperialism. And we are down to our final 16 teams in imperialism. And we will have the Minnesota Wild once again, who just defeated the New York Rangers. And the Wild will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow will touch the Detroit Red Wings territory. So the Minnesota Wild and the Detroit Red Wings will be our next matchup. 44 seconds remaining in the third period. The Wild have pulled their goalie there down one to the Detroit Red Wings. They have an opportunity here to tie it up. Erickson Eklund's the draw. Here's Dumba for Bodine for Caprizo and stopped there by Husso. Wild need goal here. Or the Red Wings will move on to the top 15. Larkin wins the faceoff. Here's Sider for Lucas Raymond. Raymond for Kubalik. Off his skate. Less than 10 seconds left. Wild need to get in the puck. Dylan Larkin for Lucas Raymond for the empty net. And he scores with four seconds remaining. And that will do it here. From the Maple Leafs to the Canadians to the Rangers to the Wild. And now to the Red Wings. Austin Matthews. We'll be on the line with Lucas Raymond and Dylan Larkin. The Red Wings are now one of the top 15 teams in imperialism. Well, the Wild should have enjoyed their land while it lasted because it's now property of the Detroit Red Wings. All right, we are down to our final 15 teams in imperialism. And our next team will be the Boston Bruins. And the Bruins will be headed north and that arrow is going to point toward new hampshire so the bruins will expand on their first turn of the video all right next team on the wheel here we will have will be the kraken or sharks it will be the seattle kraken and the kraken will be headed they cannot go in that direction so they will spin again they will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow points toward Idaho. So the Kraken will claim Idaho and the dual thief power up. All right, so two power ups have been activated in the Imperialism video so far. Our next team will be the Colorado Avalanche, the defending Stanley Cup champions. And the Avalanche will be headed southeast. And they will be playing the St. Louis Blues. So the Blues and Avalanche will be our next matchup. So with 31 seconds remaining, Nathan McKinnon takes a slashing penalty as the Avalanche are down 2 0. And Jordan Bennington with a huge night as these final 10 seconds will take down. And that's a huge win for the St. Louis Blues as they will defeat the Colorado Avalanche on home ice. Which never showed the empty net. He scores with less than a second remaining. And that will seal the deal in St. Louis. They first added Seth Jones from the Blackhawks. Now they add Kale McCarr from the Avalanche. And the St. Louis Blues defense core is looking pretty strong. And the St. Louis Blues will continue to expand. Alright, we are down to our final 14 teams in Imperialism. And our next team will be... The Florida Panthers. And the Panthers only have one team that could play since they're surrounded by the Lightning. So the Panthers will be headed to Tampa Bay to take on the Lightning. And the Panthers are pulling their goalie. It's all or nothing right now for Florida. Here's the clear shot. Bobrovsky, I mean, Vasilevsky makes a save. And now Sergeyev the other way. Finds Braden Point for the empty net. And he scores. And the Tampa Bay Lightning will add Matthew Kachuk to their roster. And the Florida Panthers will fall to the Tampa Bay Lightning with 13 teams remaining in Imperialism. Our next team will be the New Jersey Devils. And they have not played a game so far. And the New Jersey Devils will be headed to their northwest. And the New Jersey Devils will be headed into the Islanders territory. So the Devils and Islanders will be our next matchup. It has been a very close game. Nico Heischer now. He will... Be the first shooter of the shootout for the New Jersey Devils. Here comes Hughes. You're on Sorokin. And stop by you, Sorokin. I don't think he ever got shot off. And there's Lino, the captain. Scored a tying goal 
in the third period. He walks in. A toe dragon, Vanacek, makes a great save there on the captain. It is now Jesper Bratt's turn for the Devils. And stopped by Sorokin. And we'll play on. Bo Horvat now. Trade down an acquisition for the Islanders. He walks down the left side. Horvat in. He scores. Bo Horvat with the first goal of the shootout. And now it's a must score situation for New Jersey. Devils elect. Jack Hughes. Hughes walks in. And stopped by Sorokin. And the New York Islanders with a comeback win over the Devils. And they win in a shootout. And they will move on in imperialism. The New York Islanders will add Jack Hughes to the lineup. He will be on the second line with Konechny and Bailey. And the New Jersey Devils will be erased from the map. We are down to our final 12 teams in the video. All right, New Jersey Devils eliminated from imperialism. And our next team on the wheel will be the Dallas Stars. And the Stars will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow is pointing toward Arkansas. So the Dallas Stars will be playing the St. Louis Blues. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Captain walks in, hit there by Suter. That will do it for the St. Louis Blues. The Dallas Stars. We'll move on with the victory, and they'll be taking the St. Louis Blues' hard-fought land. They had just a great run, but we ended here by the Stars. Back in 2018, the Dallas Stars passed on Kim McCarr and took Mir Haskinen, but now they have McCarr and Haskinen on the same defensive pair. So we'll see what they can do. Well, the St. Louis Blues beat the Blackhawks and the Avalanche, but could not defeat the Stars. And Dallas Stars now control a huge portion of the map. Alright, we are down to our final 11 teams in Imperialism. And our next team will be the Buffalo Sabres. And they have not played in a while. And the Sabres will be headed to their northeast. And that arrow is pointing toward the Red Wings territory. It's a very close call, but it does penetrate through what was once the Rangers territory, so the Sabres will be headed to Michigan to take on the Red Wings. Ten seconds remain. Olafson for the empty net. Didn't go. No icing. Five seconds remaining. Red Wings need to get up the ice. Andrew Kopp for Matthews. Broken up by Olafson. And the Sabres will defeat the Red Wings. And this is Austin Matthews, sixth team in Imperialism, as he will now be a member of the Buffalo Sabres. Ten teams. Remaining in Imperialism. And our next team will be the Dallas Stars, who now have Kim McCarr. And they will be headed to their northwest. And that arrow will hit the state of Wyoming, so the Dallas Stars will expand. Alright, next team here on the wheel in Imperialism will be... The Tampa Bay Lightning, who are currently 2-0. and And this arrow is pointing toward the Northwest. And that arrow hits Kentucky before it hits Dallas Stars land. So, we have another power-up activated. The Lightning will choose a top player from a random team spun on the wheel. So, these are the nine teams remaining in Imperialism. And the Tampa Bay Lightning will steal a player from... The Dallas Stars. Well, the Lightning already have a stacked decor. So, Yermer Yager, he's now a member of the Tampa Lightning. And our next team will be the New York Islanders. And the Islanders will be headed to their northwest. And the Islanders will be playing the Buffalo Sabres to control all of New York. 3-0. The final score, Islanders will move on. In Imperialism, well, the New York Islanders are looking stacked, as this is Austin Matthews' seventh team in this video so far. So we'll see if the Islanders, they can win their next game. And the New York Islanders will defeat the Buffalo Sabres 
And now they have the largest territory on the map. Well, we have nine teams remaining. The Sabres are off the map. And our next team will be the Seattle Kraken. And they have the Dual Thief power-up. And the Kraken will be headed. This time will be southeast. And that arrow is pointed toward Wyoming. So the Kraken and the Stars will be in a matchup here. And if the Kraken win, then they can steal two players from Dallas. Seven seconds remaining. He'll dump it in. Here is Max Domi from a car. Stopped by Martin Jones. And he'll hang on with 1.7 seconds remaining. And the Stars will have one last opportunity to tie this game. Glendening and Pedersen on a draw. One by the Kraken, and that will do it. And the Seattle Kraken will come out victorious against the Dallas Stars, and they will activate their dual thief power-up. So the Seattle Kraken will take Jason Robertson and Kale McCarr. And the Seattle Kraken officially erased the Stars from the map. And they now surround the San Jose Sharks. So San Jose is going to have to play Seattle pretty soon. All right. Eight teams remaining on the wheel. And our next team will be the New York Islanders. And they have dominated so far in imperialism. And the New York Islanders will be headed. And that's going to go east. And the New York Islanders will play against the Boston Bruins. So Islanders and Bruins will be our next matchup in imperialism. Ten seconds remaining here in the third period. Brandon Carlo for Krejci. Hit hard there. And now Pellick will gain possession. He'll go for Anders Lee. And that will do it. We are headed to overtime here in Boston at TD Guard. Bergeron and Horvat here on the faceoff. It will be won by the Bruins and we're underway in overtime. He has some time. He'll find Marshawn. For Ampus Lindholm. And a great save there by Sorokin. And now Bo Horvat. He's on the breakaway. He can win it here. Horvat walks in. And he scores. Bo Horvat wins it in overtime for the Islanders. And they will move on in imperialism. Well, the Islanders are able to win yet again. They add David Pasternak to their roster. And they, they just look... Really tough to beat right now. And the Islanders will erase the Boston Bruins. And they're looking like a dominant team here in Imperialism. Alright, seven teams remaining here in Imperialism. And our next team will be the San Jose Sharks. Okay, so they've already beaten the Coyotes and Kings. And the Sharks will be headed. They cannot go to the west, so we'll spin again. This time it will go to their east, it will point it to their north. And that will put them in a matchup against the Seattle Kraken. So Sharks and Kraken will be our next matchup in Imperialism. Six skaters out there for the Sharks. 15 seconds remaining. Here is Oscar Lindblom with a little toe drag. McCarr on the poke check. Here's Lindblom to the point for McDonald. Now Hurdle, his shot blocked there. And now here's Kale McCarr, the final seconds. And that will do it. The Seattle Kraken hang on. And they will advance to the top six teams in Imperialism. The Seattle Kraken will select two players from the Sharks. They'll take Anzi Kopitar for the center position. And Eric Carlson for their defense. And the San Jose Sharks will be erased from the map. They had a very good run. I'm surprised they made it this far. But the Seattle Kraken will come up victorious. And they now control a huge portion of land. We are down to our final six teams in Imperialism. And our next team will be the New York Islanders, who have been great so far. And the Islanders will be headed. This is pointed to their southwest. Now that arrow is passing through the Hurricanes territory, so the Islanders and Hurricanes will be our next matchup. And the winner will advance to the final five teams. Under 10 seconds remaining. Caught Kenny Amy. And it was going to be an offside, and he let it go. Matthews for the empty net. Missed. Final seconds of the game. And the New York Islanders will end up victorious.
victorious against the Hurricanes. And Sidney Crosby is now a member of the New York Islanders. I mean, just look at this forward group. I mean, this is amazing. The Islanders are stacked with their forwards. And we'll see how far they can go with five teams remaining. And the New York Islanders will be the top metropolitan team still alive. Uh, they can control all of the Eastern Conference, but Tampa Bay is still there. The Winnipeg Jets have not played a game yet. Somehow they are still alive. The Flames, I know we got the Kraken. So five teams remaining. We'll see where our next match will be. Our next spin on the wheel. The team will be the Calgary Flames. Who now have Connor McDavid. And the Flames will be headed. They, I mean, that's northeast. And that arrow is pointed towards Saskatchewan, so the Flames will be headed to Winnipeg to take on the Jets in our next matchup. And this will be the Jets' first game of the video. Ten seconds remaining. Dubois hit there. Markstrom for Mangiapane. Final chances for the Jets. Backlund gets it out of the zone. Here's Coleman. Final seconds of the game. And this one is over. The Calgary Flames win 2-1. to one. And they are moving on to the final four. In imperialism. And the Calgary Flames will add Kyle Connor to their team. He'll be on a second line with Kadri and Huberto. But before we spin the wheel, we will add the Calgary Flames new land. And this is what the map looks like with four teams remaining. Alright, we are down to our final four teams in imperialism. And our next team will be the Seattle Kraken. Alright. And the Kraken will be headed. This time they are headed to the southeast. And that arrow does touch Oregon, so the Kraken will expand. Alright, next team on the wheel. So the Kraken just expanded, and our next team will be the New York Islanders. Who have had a dynamic run so far. And the Islanders will be headed to their north. And that arrow passes through Maine, so the Islanders... We'll add another state to their empire. All right, two expansions in a row. Our next team on the wheel in imperialism will be the Kraken once again. And the Kraken will be headed. They cannot head to their north. The Kraken will be headed to their southeast. And that arrow passes through Utah. All right, next team on the wheel. We've had several expansions in a row. We'll see if we have a game here. And our next team will be the Kraken again. Okay. And the Kraken will be headed to their southeast again. And that arrow will go through New Mexico. All right. I'm ready for a matchup. Our next team on the wheel will be the Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay. And the Lightning will be headed. That one's going like west. And that arrow is pointing toward Mississippi. So the Lightning will add another state to their land. Alright, next team on the wheel. Let's have a matchup here. We will have, will be Lightning or Islanders. It will be the New York Islanders this time. And the Islanders will be headed to their southwest. And that arrow passes through Maryland, which means New York Islanders have now equipped the heart power-up. Meaning if they do lose a game, they're not out yet. So, another power-up has been unlocked here in Imperialism. We'll see if the Islanders have to use that power-up because they have been really great so far. And our next team will be, will be the Tampa Bay Lightning. And the Lightning will be headed... And this is going directly north, which means the Tampa Bay Lightning will play the New York Islanders in our next matchup. And the Islanders will be home for this game. We're batting point here on the draw. Five minutes overtime. Starts now. Face here's Hedman now. Victor Hedman. Skates down the wall, finds point in the slot. Here's point. And now it's blocked by Horvat. And now Anders Lee with it. He has some space. Here comes Anders Lee on a breakaway and stopped by Vasilevsky. Now here's Nikita Kucherov, a one-on-one. -on -one, and they got hit there by Pelik. Here's Victor Hedman now. Hedman walks in and Stamko scores. The Lightning will win this one and they will move on 
The Tampa Bay Lightning will steal a player from New York, but the Islanders still keep their territory. It was between Matthews and Pasternak, but the Lightning do need a good centerman, so Austin Matthews will be the newest member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Alright, still four teams remaining since the Islanders had the heart power up. And our next team will be the Calgary Flames. Okay. And the Flames will be headed to their southwest. And that clearly passes through the Kraken's territory. So the Flames and the Kraken will be our next matchup. Only one team will move on to the final three in Imperialism. Overtime or shootout will decide who will. Here's Mackenzie Weger for the Flames. He finds Lindholm. He shot stopped. And the Huberto scores. Jonathan Huberto with the game winner in Seattle. And now, one of the best defensemen in the league is a member of the Calgary Flames. And the Calgary Flames will take all the Seattle Kraken's land. And they are now one of the top three teams in imperialism. So I am personally surprised the Kraken made it this far, but it is Imperialism, so you never know what's going to happen. And our next team will be the New York Islanders. Okay, so they lost Austin Matthews to the Lightning. And the Islanders will be headed. They cannot go to their north. Not anymore. This will go to their southwest. And that arrow points to Indiana, so the New York Islanders. We'll add another state to their empire, and we'll spin the wheel again. All right, let's see if we have a matchup here. Our next team on the wheel will be the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right. And the Lightning will be headed. And that arrow is pointed toward the northwest. After further review, the arrow passes through Calgary's territory, so the Lightning We'll be playing the Calgary Flames, and the New York Islanders are automatically in the final. So the Lightning and Flames will be our next matchup. 40 seconds remaining in regulation. It is a 3-2 game in favor of Calgary. The net is empty for Tampa Bay. They desperately need a goal. Less than 30 seconds. Here's Kaji for Elias Lindholm. He will dump it in for Calgary. It will be Sorelli and Kaji on the drop. It's all by Sorelli. Here's Yossi to play. Blocker stopped there by Markstrom. Weger, he's in the corner. Here's Sorelli. Maybe one last shot. A stop by Markstrom. And the Flames will move on to the finals to play the Islanders. It was a tough decision, but Nikita Kucherov will be joining the Calgary Flames. We could have taken Matthews, but they already have McDavid and Kadri. So Kucherov is definitely going to add some depth to that first line. Alright, whichever team the wheel lands on, that team will be home for the final game. And the home team will be the Calgary Flames. Okay, so Flames are home and Islanders are away. 3 minutes and 49 seconds remaining in this one. It's a 3-1 game. Islanders, they still, they still have time. Less than a minute remaining. In this one, here's Clutterbuck. He lost it. It's center ice. Islanders try to get possession so they can pull the goalie. Here's Elias Lindholm with it. Here's Crosby. The net is empty for the Islanders. This is their final chance. Or can the Calgary Flames win it all? There's Lindholm for the empty net, and he scores. Elias Lindholm makes it 4-1 to one. Flames. McDavid will pick up an assist on the empty net goal. With 22 seconds remaining, I don't think the Islanders will score three goals in 20 seconds. I just don't think it's possible. Final seconds, and that is it. The Calgary Flames are your imperialism champions as they defeat the New York Islanders 4-1 to on home ice. What a run by the Calgary Flames. Jacob Markstrom played exceptional in this one. He was struggling in some of the games, especially against Seattle. But redeemed himself in this one. And the Calgary Flames have won the Imperialism Cup. Now be crowned the Imperialism Champions for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.